An atomic-powered spaceship has been suggested by a leading scientist in the rocket and guided missile field, Dr. Ernst Stuhlinger, who for some years has been working closely with the rocket engineer, Dr. Werner von Braun. This atomic electric spaceship features a revolutionary new principle that will make possible the long trip to Mars with only a small expenditure of fuel. Parts for the spaceship will be brought up to an orbit by conventional chemical fuel rockets. It will then be assembled in the vacuum of space. This unusual ship will be 500 feet across and will carry a small landing craft for the final descent to the Martian surface. Located at the bottom is a small atomic reactor which furnishes a continuous supply of heat. This heat turns silicon oil into steam. After rising up a central pipe, the steam drives a turbo generator which produces electricity to run the ship. The steam is condensed in a giant circular cooler and used over and over again. In the thrust chamber, a platinum grid is electrically charged. The metallic element cesium is vaporized and blown through the white hot grid. This ionizes the cesium atoms and they are then electrically blasted out into space at the rate of billions per second. This thrust pushes the ship in the opposite direction. The atomic electric spaceship can operate continuously for a period of years. At the top of the ship, away the dangerous atomic reactor, is cargo space and quarters for a crew of 20 men. Mounted outside on the thrust chamber assembly is the auxiliary landing craft. When our ship reaches Mars, the landing craft will be released, carrying men and supplies to the planet's surface. A drag chute will gradually slow the landing craft as it streaks into the Martian atmosphere. A few seconds before touching down, the main rocket motors will be fired and the craft will land gently on its nose. Later, the exploration party can return to the mothership by blasting off in the tail section of the landing craft. <laughs> 